Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. To create your own custom toolbars for use in Access, select Tools from the menu bar and roll down and select the Customize command. In the Customize dialog box, click the Toolbars tab and then click the New button at the right side of the Toolbar tab. Type in a name for your toolbar into the New Toolbar dialog box and click OK. The toolbar will then appear as a small floating toolbar next to the customized dialog box. However, it won't have any buttons on it yet. To add buttons to toolbars, click the Commands tab in the customized dialog box. In this tab, select the menu category under which you find the function for which you want to add a button in the categories list. So if I wanted to have one that allowed me to work with records, I could choose records and from the commands listed at the right, I could then click and drag a command onto my toolbar and release it. In order to add the desired buttons. Let's say then I would like some that help me insert objects. Or work in datasheet view. And once again, you just simply click and drag any buttons that you want. and just drop them on your toolbar. Also, if you have different sections of buttons, such as the record navigation section or the view section, you can right click on any button and choose begin a group to put a little button divider to its left. If you'd like to remove the grouping, simply right click the button to the right of the divider and choose begin a group again to toggle it back off. To delete a button from the toolbar, click and drag the button the toolbar from the toolbar that you do not want and drop it back into the Commands tab to remove it from the toolbar. You can also delete custom toolbars you've made and reset the preset toolbars back to their original status if you really mess one up, since notice it is possible to select a toolbar such as the standard toolbar, and delete very useful commands like open, save, cut, paste, undo. So if that happens to you, you can go to the Toolbars tab. To reset changes made to a default toolbar like the database toolbar, just click on its name to highlight it and choose Reset to the right. Click OK to reset any changes, so notice our toolbar's buttons have returned. You're not allowed to delete the preset toolbars, thankfully, but you can delete your own toolbars. And to do that, you would click on the name of the toolbar that you created and you would like to delete, and then you would click the Delete button to the right. Click OK to delete the selected toolbar. And when you're finished modifying your toolbars, you can click Close in the Customize dialog box to close it and return to the Access program. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com/free.